Hey, bless your heart. Hey, I'm gonna do one quick one. <laughs> uh, this ought to take a whole tickle a whole bunch of them on YouTube and probably make a whole bunch of them mad. But ah, uh, well, you can get over it. Uh, if you don't love me, take it up with the Lord. Ah, <laughs> uh, people telling me who I need to vote for, and even people telling me that they're gonna defriend me. And oh, I guess we can't be friends after all. And uh, because I support Trump, save the children, ladies and gentlemen, save the children. I'm going to support the man that wants to save the children. <laughs> and what he's done for this country, it is amazing. Hey, guess what? Uh-oh, I got me on another hat, guys. Here's the another one. Oh, got me a little pants, a Trump and pants, and <laughs> Trump 2020. <laughs> Yeah, another four more years. Oh, my goodness. I love my Trump. The most high has surprised us all, even of any of us, <laughs> that knows anything of what is of righteousness and of holiness. Even if we... <sighs> we all mess up. Hey, I, I'm, I'm number one guilty. I'm guilty. I've been out there in the world. I had to work with all those men. I had to fit right in. I had to be joined right in with them. You know, I couldn't sit there and preach the gospel to all these people while, I'm, while we're working. <laughs> ah, but there's a whole lot of people I got to speak to one-on-one. -on -one. And the Lord had me where, I guess, where he needed me. And it's like, where am I supposed to go now, Lord? Fighting all this cancer? Uh, it hurts. This is the best I've been in a long time, guys. And I'm just not getting into all this other stuff of people telling me that I... I that, who I'm supposed to vote for, man, if you, I, it's just madness, but it's all been given, I can explain every bit of it, within the end times presentations, I can pre present every bit of it, of what every bit of this is, represents, and what it represents, even within our own time frame, and within our own generations, and the generations that's evidently going to come, and they ain't going to like what's going on down here, because it's going to get bad. Oh my goodness, check it out, check it out, check it out. Let's see if I can get this up here. Hey guys, eat your heart out. Let's see if I can get this up here where you can see it. Oh, now come on, I gotta get it to the camera. Maybe I gotta stand up. Because then I can't see myself in the camera. Check it out, guys. Guess what that says? Get it in focus, Mike. Official 2020 team leader. Certificate. Hey, it's got my name on it, guys. Mike Daniels. And down here on the bottom, look at here. It's signed by the, oh, let's see here, on both sides. Authorized by Chairwoman of the Republican National Committee, Ronna, it said with two N's, Ronna McDaniel. And Trump Victory Poly Political Director Chris Carr <laughs> in the year of 2020 for being a Trump team leader. Which way do I go? There you go. Boy, I got to get this up right. I should be standing up, I guess, and sit back. Look at that. <laughs> Check it out. You got one of them? Who, that's who I'm voting for. I don't care what you think of me. Even preachers. Preachers are supposed to know the word. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, uh, my goodness. Uh-oh, uh -oh. I didn't get to comb my hair. I should have shaved. There you go. Ha <laughs> ha, check it out, check it out. Whoop, hey guys. There's that cold wool. If I get it in there, how can you see it? Look at there. There's that coin. Whoop, upside down. Ha <laughs> ha. I got me one of them. Got the Trump on it. Got the White House. <laughs> they sent it to me free. Of course, you got to give them $9.99 <laughs> in a donation. <laughs> and then this is free. Look at that. 
<laughs> hey, it's just a little keepsake. Whatever. Uh-oh. Got me one of those coins. Hey, got you got one of these get, guys? <laughs> get it in focus. There you go. Oh, it says Trump 2020. Oh, yep. oh who said that? <laughs> me. <laughs> there it is. Oh, my. Hey, oh, goodness sakes. I got that. Oh, they sent me. Oh, they sent me a bunch of keychains. <laughs> I got a keychain. Whoop, put it up. Whoop, upside down, my nigga. Get it upside down. Which way do we go on this camera? See, ain't nobody filming me. <laughs> Trump and Pence. <laughs> well, that'll make you mad, won't it? I hope it does. <laughs> I don't know good and well where we're at in our own generation of time. <laughs> there ain't no temple as of yet built in Israel. Not yet, but there will be, and but they don't know where, <laughs> and it's going to be in the most perfect spot. Oh man, how, the pre presentations I could bring. There is no altar out front of the temple that was to be there for the sacrifice of the red heifer. Hello, there's not even an altar out there. Remember. Oh, they will go back into sacrifice. And all these things has to be done before the real Antichrist is been brought into play. Israel is not about to set a crown upon any man that's not of the seed of David in the flesh, in front of them that they can see with their eyes, and then they will believe. Ah, oh, they're going to get fooled. Oh, my goodness sakes. Israel's not about to put a crown upon anybody of the seed of Ishmael and of Lot and, and of Esau and of any other Gentile nations any, all the way around the world. I don't care what you end-time preachers and big shots on TV seem to claim and all agreed together. <laughs> Claiming it's going to be somebody of Ishmael. That'll set upon the throne of David. Uh -uh. The royal covenant was given unto the seed of David. And it must be done in front of them. Even though Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of Almighty God, was given them in front of them. But as the scriptures was fulfilled, they would not accept him. Because the Spirit kept them from seeing and understanding. And in what scriptures they had based their faith upon. He wasn't out there. Bring a kingdom right in front of them. And all of Israel is all bowing under the king. Oh, when that Antichrist is killed by a sword. Oh, well, somebody's going to kill him. <laughs> Ram that sword right through his head, the scripture says. Oh, he's going to die. And then it says the spirit of Satan shall enter him. And he shall stand upon his feet. Oh, my goodness. How could anybody do that? Right in front of them. In something they can see. But this is a ways of coming. And what we're seeing now is walking to the doorsteps. These are setting the doorsteps of everything else ready and getting ready to come into play. Oh, I feel for the, the, the generation that's going to be after us. <laughs> they're going to see it. Oh, they're going to see it like never before. But the Lord ain't done rumbling and hammering and slamming. Storm after storm after storm is going to be worse than it's ever been. Uh, I bring it. I've done brought it many, many times. <laughs> Would you look at that? Oh, hey. Oh, I got to show you something else. Oh, ain't this cute? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to show it off. I'm going to show it off. Even it's just those some little simple silly things. But check it out. They sent me one of these. <laughs> well, look at there. What in the world is that? Hey, it's the White House. <laughs> Keep America great even again. I don't see any rainbow rolling around over here. That rainbow belongs to God and the covenant that he gave it and, and the reason for it. How dare they? But the workers of iniquity and sin. It was recorded they would already do this. So we ain't prophesying nothing. It's already been prophesied for thousands and thousands of years. And they always go right back into where they was 
brought out of it. And look at America. We're no different. The leader of the nations. We're no different. And then the nations want to follow our nations and have what we have over here. The free right to believe as you please. And all that stuff. And to do as you please. Look at all that stuff they throw upon the television and the media. And nothing but filth. Putting it in front of your children. And teaching them what? Here it comes. Ha <laughs> ha! There's the White House. Bad doggies, it ain't got no rainbow because that rainbow's up there in heaven. How many times I've seen the rainbow out there driving on that truck in that 18? Man, I said, that'd be cool to go, if I can just go under that rainbow and go through it. Man, it, just, it was always just well, so far out there. And here my one road finally went right under it. And I watched it the whole time because of the way of the clouds and, 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 and the fog that was had. And, 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 and yet right there was that brightness of sun right out there off to the side. And here comes the road that went right underneath it. I watched it go. I went over it or under it. I could see it in my, my rear view mirrors. The rainbow even still behind me. Now that was cool. I said, Lord, I just want to go drive through it. I know I don't mean much of anything, but he let me do it one time in my life. That was cool. <laughs> they better put this thing back up. Anyway, I hope this makes a whole lot of you madder than a hornet, than a hornet's nest. Well, you can get all stirred up because I got the bug spray. It's called the Word of God. I don't get up there on the stages and proclaim myself to be a saint or a righteous person and I be so holy. But I know the Word of God, people. I know it. I've been studying it all my whole life. And I was raised up in it. Many stories that I could tell. Visions and dreams and visions and dreams that I was not worthy of. I still got a hundred of them still yet to do. I'm an understander to the dreams. I don't need an, an interpreter. I'm an understander and, and, and interpreter of, of, the, of the, the spoken word in the unknown tongue, provided there is a message in the unknown tongue. And I know how to tell the difference. Is, are they just gibbering? Gibber jabbering? Is there really a message from the throne? I know how to tell the difference. And they don't. I don't need an interpreter. I don't need an interpreter to the visions of the dreams. I don't have to call somebody up on the phone and say, hey, what do you think it means? But they do. The prophecies that the Lord has given me. And the visions and dreams that I was not worthy with. The attack of Satan and fighting me in the night, especially since this cancer, and especially since they're getting this close of, of finishing the book. That's never, ever been done, ever in history, not in this styling and in this form. And when I entered, spoke under the Most High, and his son setting off to his right, there he was, right there in the flesh, people. I was not worthy. But when I spoke about it, and addressed it. He was pleased. I watched him do a hallelujah dance. And I watched him smile. Now we got to keep him, keep him smiling. The Lord has given us a space. And all this stuff that's attacking the nation. And the people that's rolling in, in the streets. And, and for all their reasons. It's finally getting the people of the gospel to stand together and do what is required as what was given even in the days of old unto Israel and unto all of the nations around the world to stand together and to hold hands and to cry out, Lord God, we need your help, Lord Jesus. We can't do it without you. We got to get this thing turned around. Look at what we all went through with Obama. My God, look what we went through. 
and what he uh, uh, done allowed him. Everybody loved it because he supported the people under the rainbow. And that's where the money comes from. When you get it from all the people who love the iniquity and dwell therein. We can't stop them. And we're not to hate them. I don't hate them. You know. He said, hate the sin, but love the sinner. <laughs> I don't hate them. I got too many people. And that's why people won't stand up anymore because, well, they got too many people in their family that's that way. Well, they can be some good people. The kindest you ever met. The lifestyle I don't approve. And I ain't about to. Uh-uh. Nope. Nope. I'll stand for the gospel any day. I've done weddings and funerals and all. Revivals. I've done it all. Help ministers out there for the last 20 years that never once had a chance in their lifetime to ever go to college or even to receive their credentials that they was ready to preach and teach. I've helped hundreds, dead, thousands. But where they're all at now? Well, they got what they wanted and they're all gone. Just as those prophets of old was teaching the prophets of learning. And then they were all scattered out. And there they go. How well did they pay attention? Who knows? The things of life is going to be its easiest teacher and its hardest lesson to ever learn. Anyway, I love you guys. If this makes you mad, aha, so, so be it. I love you anyway. In the Lord. <laughs> yeah. Bye-bye. Got you.